I think the three most important things to know about dry ice are number one, this may or may not be common sense to most people, but cold air sinks. So if you wanna keep the product really, really frozen, you should put the dry ice on top. You can see in this situation, I have the dry ice next to the product and that's because the product has been in our blast freezer, which is negative 30 degrees, so it's already incredibly frozen. Here I am just trying to maintain the temperature. And number two is how much dry ice you should be using. And this is really going to be dependent on the temperature, if it's going to be in the sun, and most importantly, how long the product needs to remain frozen. This cooler is heading to a wedding and it's going to be quick. It's going to be less than two hours. So therefore I have a very small amount of dry ice. And side note, sometimes I'll wrap the dry ice in dish towels because it's so incredibly cold, it will burn you if you touch it and you can pick it up with the dish towel. And number three is how the card is packed. You can see in this example that the card is completely filled with product. So therefore there is no room for hot air to come inside the cart and just sit. This means that the product will continue to keep itself frozen longer than if this cart was only half full. So if this cart was only half filled with product, I would make sure to fill the empty space in the cart and then I would use a little bit extra dry ice to make sure that everything remains frozen.